Hey Monica, my name is Jared. What we want to do here is just go through your website. We want to look at where do we find our competitors, explain three ways to land on the front page of Google, how do we find those keywords that they're targeting, you know, more than one or two keywords. We want to find a lot of keywords. And then how do we rank that, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this, and uh, I hope you find something useful here. So what we're going to do is just go through your website here real quick, and we're going to try and find um, anything that kind of pops out sticks out as we go to save some of these. We want to really make sure that these are being saved as uh, the keywords that you're trying to get found for. So having your name in here is great, having photography in there is better, uh, but what kind of photography and where are you doing the photography, right? So if you're doing it in Omaha, you know, let's talk about that. Actually, one second here for just a moment. Is that Greg Pinio? Can't really tell. Anyhow, um, let's go ahead and dive into, so you have private parties, corporate event, private event, nonprofit, commercial, mugshot. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into, let's look for some corporate event competitors. So what we want to do is kind of put ourselves in the shoes of the customer. So if I'm looking for a, um, you know, a corporate photographer and I'm looking for an event, you know, I'm hosting an event in Omaha, uh, I'm going to search for Omaha in my search, right? So corporate event photography or corporate photography Omaha is what I searched. Um, so you can see Omaha corporate photography came up first. Obviously, why? They put the actual keyword as the full name, right? Google isn't really a big fan of that. They can pull those back off, and so it ends up being a continuous battle. Um, so it's not the best strategy, but it is a strategy just to make a GMB with a name in it, not necessarily your name, right? Otherwise, if we're trying to get ranked as our actual name, our actual business, we want to make sure that we're getting reviews, and then we want to look for citations. So we're going to go out and put your citation, that's your name, address, and phone number, on as many directories as possible uh, to really let Google know that you are an authority in the space, that you are a legitimate company, right? The more of those that we have, the better off we're going to be verified, and it's going to give them the confidence to push you towards the top. There's a lot more to it than that. You got to name your photos. You got to have the proper descriptions. As you go and you name all those, you know, you got to have the keywords and all that. So there is a lot to it, but really we're just trying to get um, your information on as many directories as possible. And so then we can be um, showing Google as they scrape the internet what you're about. So you see here that Omaha Corporate Photography is at the top. You're here at the top as well, but that's probably because I already pulled up your website, right? So we got to be careful of that. But we'll look at the stats on the back end and verify. Uh, and then you see Omaha Photo, C41 is another photography company here in Omaha. So let's go ahead and look at corporate, um, what was it, omahacorporatephotography.com and look at their website. So the website itself, so he's got Biden in there, got some other um, photos. But again, let's see what they save. That's the wrong button. Save image as. So corporate event photographer, right? So we want to make sure we put that in there. The only thing I would add to that is adding in the name. Uh, your name, the name of the city, things like that. Let's just jump into the back side of the website and see how both your website and their website is performing. All right, so here we are in the overview of your website. So you can see this is the, the actual header that you are getting found for. So you have a lot of different um, keywords in there. So I don't know if somebody helped you with this or if you figured all this out on your own. Um, but you definitely are doing some of the things correctly by having that up there. Uh, right here, this is going to be the power of your actual home page, right? Because that's what I've typed in. I typed in your home page at the top. And then this is going to be the actual power for the entire website, including all of your back pages and all the things like that. So interlinking them together, really making sure the website is linked um, and connected together is going to be how we boost that 10 up to a 16. And then the overall backlinks and domains is going to play a part in that too. So as you reach out to these other websites, we need to make sure that they are relevant to photography, that they're local if possible. Otherwise, we just want to make sure that Google already trusts the website. So we have ways to check that out. You're getting found for 116 keywords on the website, um, and you're getting a 202 traffic per month. So if we go ahead and jump right into keywords, we'll see kind of where all that traffic is coming from. All right, so I went ahead and highlighted a handful of things. Obviously, it's most of them. I do think that you probably have somebody helping you with this. Um, just because of the way that your keywords are laid out here. So your two big hitters are at the top. You have a couple of big hitters that you're kind of letting slide by, um, you know, but if you're not looking to do a lot of senior pictures, you know, maybe that's not what you want to focus on. So I, don't, I haven't talked to you yet, and I'm not sure where you want to focus, but otherwise it does look like somebody is helping you out and, you know, doing well for you, right? So um, maybe just kind of focus more on the senior pictures if that's something you're interested in. The Photography Omaha down here at the bottom um, is going to be another one that you might want to look at. So you're ranking on the third page, second page there, 
Uh, and then again, Omaha Senior Photographers, you're sitting on the second page of that. All right, so I did a little research, and just for the sake of your time, what I'm going to do is jump into Senior Pictures Omaha, and we're going to find a competitor for that uh, because you already seem to be holding the space for a corporate events, right? So I just want to kind of show you what the, um, if you were to go ahead and chase after this, what that would kind of look like. So this is the person who is ranking number one. So if we just come in here and go to their overview, it looks like the DR and UR is going to be very similar to yours, so basically backwards, right? Um, they don't have very many uh, backlinks or domains or keywords, but they're getting a lot of traffic, right? So because that's just because they're ranking for that one. It's getting three and yeah, 3,600 searches per month, um, and they're getting almost 1,300 traffic from that one alone. So, you know, it's just one of those things where if you were wanting to rank for different keywords, that's something to think about, right? All right, Monica, that is all I've got for you. Obviously, I like I had said, I do believe that you have somebody helping you with this already, and if you're happy with the results, please stay with them. I'm not here to take any food from anybody or anything like that. So, you know, I'm just here to give a little free advice. I don't believe in the hard sales or anything like that, so I just try and offer advice. And if you're interested, please reach back out to me. My name is Jared. My phone number is 402-515-7222. And if you know Greg Pinio, let's talk about that because um, I haven't talked to him for a minute. But, you know, if you're involved with that, um, that would be interesting to hear as well. So we'll talk soon. Thanks.